Kaimano. So we're back on another mesh. We're in the Kaimanoas and we've got a big hill up that way which we're gonna start climbing very shortly. Um, once we get onto the tops it'll be dark so we'll probably just set up a camp and then um, carry on through to a hut the next morning. So yeah, it should be bloody good. See if we can see a deer or two. But yeah, stay tuned and hopefully we get a bit of action for you. Woken up to beautiful tops, absolutely gorgeous scenes. Good to be up here. It's flipping cold though. Coldest weather I've been in for a little while. So we're gonna have a coffee, pack up the campsite, put the packs on, and walk for another couple hours at least. Yeah. Um, we're gonna hunt our way along the tops this morning. So yeah, it'd be pretty cool if we can see something, but real wicked to be up here anyway. We've dropped down from the tops and we're pretty close to the hut so just having a quick class around here, some cool country and um, yeah have a bit of a feed at lunch and I'll wait here for a bit of a hunt this afternoon. We'd been going a few k's down the river at this point and we came onto a good clearing which we took our time stalking across. I spotted some movement on the far side behind some scrub. At the time it didn't present a shot and so I crouched down and waited for it to take a step forward. And I just saw its ass. Oh, I stopped. I got that all wrong. <laughs> all right, guys. So the time is 20 to 6. What have you got to say? Yeah, no, it's pretty bloody exciting getting them in close like that. That would have been all of 30 yards. So um, yeah, yeah, if that. Shout out to Ben. That's bow range. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm absolutely wrapped. It's a good young hind. Um, perfect taker. It's good to. She's pretty skinny on it. Yeah. There's, Skinniest deer I've seen. For the time of year it is, you'd expect there to be a bit more fat on it. So I think it's a bloody, a good taker. Um, leave a bit more for the stuff to, a bit more feed for the breeding breeding stock. But um, no, nah, that's bloody awesome. It's always good when you can do a big walk like this and it pays off. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. That shooting is on the money right <laughs> through the engine room. Good. It's bloody good. Oh, absolutely wrapped. Nice to see behind. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just got to make this clear. This is not in any way my idea, and it was all at Tiana's free will and wanting to do this but um, she's decided she's going to hacky sack this deer back to the hut so yeah first, <laughs> first time she's ever hacky sacked a deer so I'm sure by the end of it she'll be sick of it <laughs> Even with no meat safe, it's that cold, there's not a single fly on the thing, so that's bloody marvellous. <laughs> Too good. Everything's starting to freeze here. Tiana's jersey that she had hanging outside that was a bit wet, um, frozen solid, so yeah, it's going to be a bit cold. Too good. It's about 9 o'clock, it's pretty cold, so it's going to be quiet. 
Yeah, maybe back to the hut. Got that deer hanging up in a tree, so we'll deal with it tomorrow. Yeah, how good. <laughs> it's a big walk worth it. Yeah. Right, -o, so it's Sunday morning. We decided to have a bit of a sleep in and not go out to shoot another deer because our packs will be heavy enough um, on the way out today. So all the way out today will probably be, yeah, closer to five hours walking. So it'll be pretty cool, but woken up to a beautiful morning and first cross I've seen of the year. So you guys know what that means. The roar can't be too far away. <laughs> to the tops and what a beautiful day for it making real good progress what an awesome trip this has been unreal yeah nah pretty you hard to beat i think <laughs> <laughs> but um the raw's just around the corner so the next video will be dad popping myself out in the raw having a wicked time so tune into that and i hope you guys have a wicked raw as well yeah thanks for watching <laughs>